Alright, I'm belted in. So my controls. So reach down there and move the stick to all four corners and make sure that everything's moving, not obstructions, it's moving freely and correctly. If the tow plane's not out in front of us, you can wag the rudder, but don't wag the rudder if the tow plane moves out in front of us. <laughs> the signal to go. So, okay? Now what? Cable. It's connected. Canopy close and lock. Okay, you're going to need to leave the canopy open to signal him. So for right now, we'll come back and get that. What's next? Dive brakes. Okay, dive brakes. You want to make sure they're closed and locked. Pull forward and rotate it up. Okay. Direction of wind. All right, we've got a crosswind, kind of a quartering tailwind, but uh, it's a uh, right to left kind of a quartering tailwind, so okay. All right, now what? Emergency procedures. All right, emergency procedures. At 200 feet, we'll have enough altitude to turn around and come back. But maybe we're not going to be high enough to uh, turn in the right place. So if we have an issue, I'm going to be going off to the left somewhere and landing over there. Okay. okay. Now, go ahead and start signaling to take up the slot. Close and latch the can. I have the control. Okay. If you get off the tow, I'll let you do some flying, but I'm going to do the tow. If you want to follow me, you can. But I'll tell you, I have the controls, and then I'll tell you, you have them when it's time for you to fly, and you'll say, I have the controls. Got it? Got it. All right. Clear left and right. Looks good. Give them the three rudder wags. And now I'm going to give a full stick and full aileron, and off we go. Elf Star Traffic, uh, tow plane 460 Tell the party with weight. Two down left glider and tow Elsinore.
give that red knob a call. Yeah, alright. Before you clear it, tow plane is away, rope is away. Alright, once you reach down in there, pull in a couple of notches of trim, Nathan. That feels good. Alright, so once you take the controls here. Yeah, I have the control. You have the control. Alright, keep us flat parallel to the freeway. Keep an eye on the tow plane over there. Down below us down there, there's those big long buildings that are metal roofs down there. Yes. And then you see right next to it on the freeway, there's a, a interchange right there on the freeway, an off-ramp. That's yes. Bundy Canyon, that's where we got off today. That's one corner of the drop zone, so let's head over towards that corner. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit, get the nose down. We're in some sinking air here, so let's get the nose down a little bit more. There you go. See, we want to fly outside of that corner, so keep us outside of that corner, and then we'll turn across the valley here as soon as we get over there. But anytime we're near the freeway like this, we really need to keep an eye out for power planes. They love to follow the freeway, and then they also see a glider and go, what's that? And go take a close look. So anytime we're near the freeway, we're going to keep an especially close look out for power planes. Now, you see out there in the middle of the valley, there's a Y in the road out there. Um, you see this road coming across over here, comes at an angle, then it turns and heads south. Right there, there's a Y, another piece goes up there. That from this intersection here to that Y is another boundary of the drop zone. So if we fly like this, we'll be fine. Keep going, and as we get closer, uh, it'll, it'll be easier to see, but keep flying this way. Okay. okay, let's get the nose down a little, or in some sinking air again. Make a turn back to the right. Look forward. Don't look into the turn. There you go. And keep that nose. See how it's dropping? Pull back on the stick a little. 
There you go. Now, level this out by parallel to Grand Avenue down here. This major road we're right over. Now see as we slow down, come out of the turn, the nose comes up. Now keep the nose right below the horizon. Pull back to the right there, right there. That's right where you want it to be. Okay, let's do a circle. Either way, I don't care, whichever way you want to go. Let's do a complete circle. Okay. You feel the nose coming up? Now you're overbanking it. Overbanking it. I got the control. Now you want a nice, nice gentle bank. Let me show you what happens if you get the nose <laughs> too high. If we come around here, now we've cleared the area. If we get the nose too high, the aircraft will stall. So when that happens, Pull it up here, and then the nose comes up. I guess I'm just doing it exaggerated so it happens. But when I get to the stall, the plane stops flying. Boom! It falls out of the sky. And we let the nose come down, and then we recover some airspeed. That's why I said, don't let the nose come up, okay? okay. You got the controls back. Let's make a turn to the right. To the left, I'm sorry. To the left, back towards the airport. There we go. Don't overbank it, pull back on the stick now. Don't let the nose drop. As we start the turn, the nose is going to want to drop. So when you start the turn, pull back a little bit. As you come out of the turn, let the nose drop back down because it's going to want to rise. So level it out. There you go, just like that. Okay, let's make another turn to the left. Okay, right there, just hold that nose right there. That's looking good. See the nose drop, so pull back on the stick. There you go. Roll out, level it out, stop the turn. Okay, now let's go back to the right. See the nose dropping a little, so let's pull back on the stick just a little, that's good. Okay, and now fly parallel to the road down here. Level this out, fly parallel to the road. And we're getting down to where we need to think about how we're going to land this thing. So, you got your pre-landing checklist to bring in there. Let's start going through it. Traffic. Looking all over the place for traffic. I don't see anything. All right, what do we got next? Wind direction. Wind direction. Uh, I'll have to show you the wind sock we got on the ground. I can see it. We're going to have a headwind on landing. So, okay. What's next? Runway two. We're going to land on runway one, one right. Okay. Gear down. Okay, gear down and welded in this thing, but get used to saying it because someday you may be flying a retractable gear plane. What's next? Spoiling. Reach over there, grab the spoiler handle, rotate it down, pull them open. Pull them open. Look at them. Are they open? Yes. Or close them. What's next? Um, speed. Speed, we're going to fly 60. So let's go ahead and enter the pattern, put the nose down. I got Elsinore traffic, flight at 863 is on the right 45 for landing runway 11 right, Lake Elsinore. Alright, take the control, come on in. Okay. Alright, you want to get the nose down, keep the nose right about there. Alright, keep us flying this heading, don't let it go anywhere. Now we're going to touch down, you know where they've been landing over there today. We're going to take a look at We're going to take a look at that and say, yeah, we look pretty good right now. Now, we're going to fly our downwind leg. You know what that is? No. Okay, we're going to turn it to the left, parallel to the runway. <coughs> Don't let the nose come up. <coughs> All right, parallel to the runway. Now, we're looking back at our landing spot. Keep the nose down. Nose down in the pattern. We want to fly faster to stay away from that stall. When we look back to where we're going to touch down, back over our shoulder there, and that touchdown spot's about 45 degrees behind us is when we're going to turn our base leg. Now I see the chipmunk taking off down there on the other runway. We'll do a little bit of spoiler here. Okay, that's about 45 degrees behind us. Now turn to the right, 90 degrees. Turn to the right. You've got the controls, Nathan. Keep the nose down. Nose down. Make sure no one's on final, and then we're going to turn final onto the runway here. 
flying, straight down, keep it flying, close to the ground here. When we get close, then it'll slow it down, pull out some spoilers, and let it land. Just like that. Nice job. Good flight. All right.